Hi, CC with Limelight AZ. Um, so in my last update video, I mentioned that I was thought I was getting somewhere between 500 to 700 calories a day. Yesterday, I actually counted it up after I did the video, and it, I was pretty close. I was, I think, I was at the high end, was about 800. Um, and Jessica from Passionate Healers commented today on my status. Uh, for my video and um, not status, it's not Facebook. For my video, I mentioned that I should be getting at least twelve hundred, um, and I was like, "Well, you know, I still have weight to lose. Can't I just like count that extra calories toward the belly that I need to lose?" And um, she said that that by not maintaining the twelve hundred calories, it may be affecting my healing. That makes a lot of sense. This feels like it's so slow. And generally, my diet is probably in that range. Sometimes maybe even as low as four, three or 400, depending on a bad day. Um, and so I think I'm really going to start focusing on getting the right amount of um, calories in a day. I really want to give my, myself the best opportunity possible for healing and if it's going to cause me to not be able to heal fast because I'm not eating enough then I need to try to eat more I honestly never never thought that not eating enough would be a problem for me but it turns out that you know 10 months of Lyme has turned that into being a problem for me I just most of the time don't have much of an appetite and I'm not even on a ton of supplements, which I know affects uh, other people. That's my grandson talking. He's behind me laying on the bed. Um, and I know that, that the large number of supplements really affects people for being able to eat. And I'm not even on that many supplements. I have a hard time getting my supplements into my system because of um, trying to just eat during the day um and my i take 3000 milligrams of vitamin c a day and if i put that on an empty stomach it really really causes problems to my stomach so um i generally try to have something to eat and then and then do the vitamin c so um as much as i love the idea of fasting occasionally um which Jessica recommended to do if I was interested in, in reducing the amount of food that I'm eating um, since it would be better for my body but I can't do that because I have to be on 3,000 milligrams a day of vitamin C so um, otherwise it affects the B venom therapy and obviously I don't want to do that so um, I think from this point forward I'm going to really have to focus on it and I'm going to start tracking it and seeing what ways are my favorite ways for trying to increase my calorie intake? But we'll see. I don't know. Uh, mayonnaise would probably be one of the ways. I don't know. I don't know much about nutrition. Uh, I took a nutrition class a couple years ago for pregnancy, but really it wasn't wasn't didn't really go into that much detail, and it was geared for pregnant women. So I don't know. Sorry, I was going to pause it, but I just didn't get to it fast enough. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I already eat a considerable amount of meat, considering I didn't used to eat meat much before. And I'm not a big egg fan unless it's boiled eggs. So, and I can't do dairy to increase my calories. I don't know what to do. I mean, obviously I need to get that in me somehow, but... I guess it'll be interesting trying to figure that out. So, anyway, so not really an update, just um, adding to my thought process about what I need to do for myself. So, anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.